hate her. April, May. At your service. I hate her so much. She's so annoying. Order! An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. A witness will refrain from Montana Lincoln. Oh, you need your honor. She's not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in the courtroom. <sighs> also, I found out what a wiretape is. A listening device. I, I searched it up on Google. And tell us. Where were you in the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like, in a hotel room. <laughs> I checked and ran after lunch. And the hotel is directly across from Fade Co Law offices. Sorry if I excuse me. Sorry if I like sound weird. Uh I literally uh, Let me be honest, I literally only ended the last one on a cliffhanger just because I got hungry. <laughs> oh, well y'all don't know that of course. Mm, that's right. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she says, I'm not gonna say, it's so cringe. Please testify to the court. <laughs> About what you saw. Yes, account. It was like nine o'clock at night. I looked out your window, you know. And then, um, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. While attacking her was a mousy girl sitting next to the defendant's chair. Then the woman like dodged to one side and ran away. She got up to her and she hit her. And then the woman with the long hair kind of slumped. And that's all I saw. Every little bit of whipsy. Stop winking. Hmm. Well, Your Honor, I see. Is remarkably a solid testimony. I don't see the need to trouble. The witness, Benny. Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about the make cross examination? I thought the witness's testimony was quite firm, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand. Now you are Miss Fay Mia Fay's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her coward the way to of finding tiny faults is per in perfectly good testimonies. Okay. How dare you? First of all, screw you and your weird looking hair. Okay. Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross examine the witness? Um, is there any. Wait, hold on. Let me think about this. I'm saving. Is there anything for me to even exam examine? <coughs> uh, yes, of course. Obviously. I'll find it. I'll gladly proceed with the cross examination. Only because I have the feeling that Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has some. She has to have some weakness. Very well. You may begin with your surprise examination. It was like 9 o'clock at night. Looked at the window, you know. Saw a woman with long hair being attacked. And said, there was a monkey girl sitting right next to his friend's chair. It's not. We know completely that it's not, but do we have any evidence to prove it? Objects. Well, what I am. I'm gonna press. Hold it. How do you know she was the defendant? <laughs> well, you know, she had a girly. Woman, women know these things. Look, I, I just, you know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime, but the short and girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, you are. He's right. I question the testimony. Okay. I believe it's that. Let me just quickly say, the notifications that I'm getting spammed are very annoying. Question to testimony. Oh, one minute. And that testimony stinks. 
<laughs> what? It's May. I'm willing to bet that. You're lying. You're telling the truth? Did you really do see the, the- Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Yeah, what's the meaning? So why don't you tell me, because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Okay. If you really had witnessed my client may affect, you would have not noticed her code before noticing her physique. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo is far normal from me. It's far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. And testimony is bogus, whatever that means. But, but... Still, I don't know if she was dressed that way the, the, the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. She, so did the detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Uh, what are you trying to say? You mean liar? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think of all the drifting little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a gook. Everything she says. She's. She's. Yeah. Testimony again, if you would. Almost had it. I did. I, 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 I did see everything. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran to the. Right, I'm trying to figure out which way is right. <laughs> then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with the weapon. I saw it. I did. That that clock. Um that kind of statue y clock, the thinker I think. Well does that accurate that does the accuracy of my wait, how does she know it's a clock? Everyone still thinks it's a statue. I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. Okay. I'm gonna try to save it on the same thing this time. Okay. Now where's- okay. It's definitely this. Ignore that. The last testimony. It's, it's, it's the thing. No one else knew it was. No one else knew. Objection! It's May. What did you say? It's not. It's quite revealing. Revealing? Ooh, you'd like that wench. Uh. You said that this statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Another person, and much the same person, as you recently called this a clock too, and he was found guilty of murder. Order, order. Miss May, can you explain how you know that this was a clock? Oh. Objection! The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all of importance in here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with within trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Objection! But questions are all I have, Your Honor. As you may recall, I caught murder. I, I've caught murder with the questions before. Well, only once. Objection sustained. You can continue the question, and the, you can continue questioning the witness. Oh, that was close. That was indeed very close. Who had stopped me there? The chair would have been over. <laughs> hmm? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? 
Well, that's because I heard it. Yeah, I heard it. It said the time. So, you've been at the lawn offices for the Fairy Co. <laughs> no? Hey, I, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? You're being very suspicious, woman. You, I also really hate you. I heard it from my hotel room. <laughs> the law office is a fake hotel, where the murder takes place. It's very close to the hotel. She could have easily heard the clock. Mm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No, I'm not. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... It couldn't have... Wait, hold on, the phone call. The phone call, right? She took all the stuff from it, right? It couldn't have run. Your Honor, members of the court. It is inconvenient that the question that the clock rang. It's broken. And the battery is in it. It's broken. I think it's broken. The clock's busted. You think. Just look at it. Your Honor, please examine the clock. Oh. Do you anything interesting, Your Honor? Well, I'm not sure if the call is broken, but I doubt it could fix. The clock is missing the clockwork. It's quite empty. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I can't explain the court the meaning of this. It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Fat. Well, Miss May. Hmm. Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty, somehow. He knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, you must ask, when was the clock work removed? During the time. I know when, because the call said so. Hmm. That's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been empty. After she heard it. What the heck? Everything went dark. Oh, I turned on my Xbox app on accident. My bad. And that is exactly what happened. Your honor. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Well, Mr. White, can you prove when the clock was removed? I have a phone call, obviously. <laughs> Impossible, of course. I have proof. What? Even you seem startled. Wasn't it though? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence to prove that the clockwork was removed is the phone call. As that's obvious, right? Yeah. My cell phone. I should probably Clock isn't talking right now. It's this one. Yeah. Take that! Take that! Look at this. I forgot to save. And a very cute cell phone. Ooh! You have a little girly phone. Wait, this isn't my phone. Listen. This is the defendant's cell phone. It contains a recording. A recording of the conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order. The defendant self? This wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it? No good I've gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation. And so, you just want me to hold on to the thank you for you then? If you could. Uh, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Hmm? It's not working. That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork. Sorry. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was way before the witness arrived at the hotel. 
I don't know why there's white stuff popping up everywhere. <laughs> well, Miss May? Would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that the weapon was a clock? Well, isn't it obvious? I saw the clock before. Um, what store was it again? I got so many. Oh, I forgot. So the witness has seen it. That's a lie! The friend made it. That's, that's just a lie. Does the defense have any objection, Mr. Wright? Uh, yeah, obviously. Directly contradicts the piece of evidence we already submitted to the court. Well then, let's see it. We introduced evidence. That will prove. Okay. Uh, I wasn't able to freaking save again. No! I need to save so badly. Uh, there we go. Let me save, please. If I don't save, I'm gonna be very scared of myself. It's simple. And this clock was never in any store. Ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in this world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. I impossible. Everything's sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's time time you went shopping for a better excuse. Mm. Oh. Excuses all not on sale today? Oh. <laughs> What the heck? I'm, s I'm very confused. What's it to you? Holy clean head. Oh, that's so mean. And gee, she went super saiyan. I'm saving another slot. That's stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it. And she can back for it. Guy! Whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is the court of law. The witness will remain calm. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't hate me. Did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did. <laughs> that is indeed scary. I, I agree with that. Another weapon was a clock. Her face scares me. No oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. It's from April May. You knew the weapon was a clock because not you held it. You technically heard it. You had the wire tape. And I read what that was on Google, so I know what it is. Obviously. Witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard. That is correct, Your Honor. I'm gonna save again. This, the girl. I'm sorry. I'm still scared of the girl. The freaking girl scares me. I don't. I kind of regret putting all my saves in different areas now because now it's just gonna confuse the heck out of me. And there's no other way she could have known that the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Whoa. This is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me the evidence proving that you heard. Hey, it's the sinking wiretap. Take that! Have a look at this. <laughs> I found this in this major room. Mr. Wright, please explain to court what this is. Miss April May, you were taping the victim. Miss May, Miss Mia May, Mia, 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 Faye's phone. Were you not? Objection! Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure it is. Objection overruled. Trouble for me that a witness has a possession of a wire tape. This is outrageous. Does the defense really, truly claim that the witness was taping her phone? 
Absolutely. I, I do. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Um, I think I might can. Yeah, I think I might can. It's simple. What? Here's my proof. I have. Wait, I have proof? I mean, yeah, I totally have proof. <laughs> the proof of the victim. Oh, I can. I can read, I swear. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock. Oh. Yeah, it's the, the phone again. Never mind. I do have proof. Take this! Sorry, I blanked out. I present the suspended cell phone. Yes, you've seen that. Listen to it one more time in the conversation between the suspended and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called me in a while. Well, I actually there's something I want you to hold for me. Again, what's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like a statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Miss April May. You used a wire tape to listen to this conversation. And that's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? Her face changes are terrifying. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense commands an answer. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May? Shut up, all of you. It gives you the right to talk to me like that. You, you lawyer. How is that an insult? It's not fair. All of you can't hang up on me like that. Oh, I need to like some of the bad girls. Is that it? Is that it? I don't know if that's a yawn or a cry. That did it. The court. See in the real Miss May now. Let it do the final blow. Um. Um. Uh, why the wire tape seems like a dumb question, but also say you did it because we know we uh, that she did it. Why the wiretap, I guess. Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to, uh... Not gonna lie, I like... Um... I don't trust the bellboy. The bellboy was there. As well. And talked about the white dude. And she said... the, the Mia said red, white, blue. And... Then so did Maya. She said white, and so yeah, I don't, I don't trust the bellboy. Is this a murder trial? It's an activity tapping or irrelevant? Say exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Well, the court does not condone the defense tone of his voice. He has a point. Well, Miss May, you have an explanation for the court. Can you prove you had nothing to do with the murder, even though you tapped her phone? <laughs> I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You're probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Dang, she's good. What is she, psychic? Jeez. You're not the first man who's got that. And of course, I can, and I will. Can't be serious, no way. Away, I say, away. And oh, I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay, 
So, the killing happened around 9 o'clock at night. Why? That's just when I, I was getting home from service. Mm, that sweet bellboy. Room service. Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. <laughs> yes, we know what white, white, white coffee, iced coffee is. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and you have like regular cold coffee. That ice coffee. Thinking you're making this up, ask a bellboy. There we go. The witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. So, where does this leave us? It is to my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's phone. However, that is a separate crime and no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Your testimony stands. She saw the defendant in May of Fay commit murder. Oh, they're going to just let her walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I time this mate to the murder. Yeah, that's kind of true, though. Uh, I don't know why I'm going to do this. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. I almost pressed A right away. I need a save. I'm not confident with this. Um, what are my options? Um... I have nothing I can really do with Miss May. I want to call the bellboy as a witness. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunk in quite low enough already. Objection! I object on calling the bellboy. Why? What is your reasoning? Because I hold that wire taping. I hold that the wire taping has nothing to do with killing. However, if you agree on to, to one condition, I'll content on calling the witness. Condition. If Miss April May's alibi is not called into questioning after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss May was not the killer. Thus she's doing so. Thereby you must also accept the verdict of being guilty for Miss Maya Fay. Um that is my condition. What? I better find something suspicious in the bell boys Otherwise, I will be the help me on the spot. Should I do? I am going to stink and accept that decision. I literally have nothing else I can do. Alright, I don't know going to lose. Except for, well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. <laughs> cool. You fell right into my trap. Uh oh. Nah, wait. Very well. But I'm fixing my glasses, even though. Yeah. Glasses. Uh huh. And the court called the hotel bell was his stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. He still has his stuff with him. But yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I am happy to be of service. This tea set looks rather heavy. So without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. Miss May's room service. I am the head bellboy of the Gate Water Hotel. In business uh, for four generations. I believe I received a call after 8 o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for a nice coffee and I brought it to her at 9 o'clock on a top, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And delivered the ice coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see. The defense may begin to cross examination. Um, uh, to herself? I'm not sure. Right. I'm ready. I hope. <laughs> this is it. If I can prove Miss May was involved with the murder somehow, Miss May will be finished. The fifth one! The fifth one. Okay, I think it's the fifth one. Usually it ends in five, so I'm assuming it's five. But, the last one he said. 
Yes. 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 Cause she. D it, it, he's just really suspicious. If he knows about Mr. White guy. So. Um. Do we have evidence I can use, or do I press? I'm gonna save. That's what I'm gonna do. Um. I'm gonna press. You are sure that was Mr. Herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're very certain? Well, when I brought her room service, sir, the, uh, the guest, sir, favored me with, um, an brass, an brasser? I don't know what that says. An brasser. Isn't that French for embrace? It's a French for kiss, sir. Not a French kiss, sir. More like a pick the cheek. I don't understand it, so it doesn't matter. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by her intentions. So confused. Sounds pretty fishy to me. Miss May was up to something and wanted her bellboy to remember her. And I did the rest of the time. Well, if... Okay. She might have done that to keep him silent. Okay. I don't really know anything else, but... I don't know... Okay, having a requested time seems suspicious. But I don't have any evidence. Anytime I don't have evidence for something, I'm just gonna press. And hope that's correct. Okay. Precisely 9 o'clock then. Precisely. Exactly. And most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? Sure. Sure. This may was quite insistent on that. And that it would be brought back. Oh. Bellboy, tee hee, I'd like a nice coffee at exactly 9 o'clock. Something like that, sir. Sir, cool. I knocked on the door at the crack of 9 o'clock. Why was she so he That's what I'm saying! It's nothing good. There's nothing there. Is that it? <laughs> Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Except for the kiss! If you this me, you would end this rather tedious cross examination here. Mm -hmm. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave this guy. Can't let this happen. Well, I don't want to give up, because she's, she's obviously innocent, so I'm going to protest. Wait. Please wait. Yes. Does the defense have anything to add? Um... One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. Mr. Redovan, just how justice has gone long enough. Oh no, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. This is all really it. My last chance. What do I ask him about? Um. What do I ask him? Uh, check in, room service. Okay, room service. And tell me again about the room service. Again, sir. Exactly 9 a.m., I delivered the room service to Miss May. I, I completely spaced out. Miss May in room 303. The guest had requested a nice coffee. $18 was a charge, I recall. I see. $18. Doesn't that seem a bit expensive? Yes, well, it's coffee for two, you know. And we don't skip on the ice, sir. Skimp? Okay, for two. So there is someone with her, but who was with her? What did he say? What did you say? Uh, oh. Er, rather, quite. Bellboy, tell us about the truth. Was someone else staying in the room with Miss, in Miss May's room? This music, dude. Oh, man. I guess we'll have to find out this answer. 
in the next episode. I will see you all then.